Welcome to Gaming Bits, your smallest gaming session. The show where we are going to play games, but we are going to be concise and talk a little about the history of stuff. And today, we are taking a look at Resident Evil. Sometimes you may think that Resident Evil is a comedy game. <laughs> You're right! It's actually a survival horror. Each of the classic games has its own jump scare that you may remember about. And I bet that at least once, you got jumped by one of these jump scares. The, the first jump scare is a really a staple in the series. You just start the game, you are playing as Jill, it's your first time, Jill theoretically is easy, so you are kinda relaxed, but when you start walking this corridor, the dogs come. And then the second dog. And at this point you are basically terrified because there is two dogs here, you don't know what to do, you probably barely know how to shoot, and you only have to try to escape. <laughs> So it's a it's a good one. It's a good way to open an actual series, you know. So yeah, I, I, it's kind of impressive, I would say. Resident Evil 2 is actually full of jump scares, and the first one you get when you see this window. That there is an actual new enemy that you did not meet in the first game, and then you get close, it passes by the window. <laughs> this is the first one. There is more. This game is filled to the brain with jump scares. That's basically the second jump scare I want to show you. The hands that suddenly come out of the window. If that scared me today because I had forgotten about it. I <laughs> imagine how it was in 1996. Okay, so the last jump scare I want to show in this game is in this room before the helicopter. Where you are just walking by, there are some crows, and then suddenly the window breaks. And then the most tense music of all Resident Evil series start playing, and it's really scary. I remember the first time I played this, it was absolutely terrifying. And killing crawls in this game is not easy, so if you decided to try to kill them, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> and when you kill the last one, the music ends. It's a very tense moment, for sure. <laughs> I like this. Okay, so the next jump scare. Of course, if I'm going to talk about Resident Evil 3, I have to talk about this jump scare. So there is, after this cutscene, after you take the lockpick, when you go downstairs in the police station, you hear glass breaking, and when you go down, something special will happen. Imagine, there's nothing here, you're casually walking, then suddenly, Nemesis, with a rocket launcher. Which I think is definitely the worst. I try to dodge him. Ow. Oh, okay, I missed. <laughs> Dodging in this game is very finicky. So, yeah, that was it. Okay, so for me, those were the classic jump scares in Resident Evil, but I'm sure something else might have a scary during. So, leave me in the comments which jump scare actually was the worst for you. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Everything helps me to get this channel forward. And as always, see you next time.